So Nala is a notorious thief. Here she goes, here she goes, here she goes. Oh. Okay, oh, now, wow! Now, this is what she does she at home? She could hurt herself! So, yes, so Get this away is my... from the stove, Nala! <laughs> so, you, she does this at home all the time, right? Yes, yeah, so this okay. is my kitchen. This is called counter surfing, okay? This could be da very dangerous for a dog, oh, as we can see. Oh, wow! Now, she just grabs something off the counter. There could be chicken up there, chicken bones, which is potentially fatal to a dog, okay? Now, it's a very simple way to stop this, okay? Number one, invest in one of these. These are very cheap. All it is is a baby monitor. You can get them for like $30 online now. We're gonna have eyes in the kitchen when we're not in there. Now, I, what I want you to do is go outside the kitchen, behind a door, this is called a penny bottle. There's 20 pennies in here. When you see the dog and the monitor jump on the counter, you open the door quickly, give it a shake. This sound, as you see, I already got her attention. Yes. This sound will stop her from getting on the countertop. You want her to be convinced that every time she puts her paws on the countertop, she's sending a signal to you magically somewhere in the house. You jump in the room, give her an off, boom. Repeat the process. I promise you, you do this for well, about a week. Well, I'm never gonna touch my counter again. <laughs> it only takes about a week and it's done. Now, there is a second trick. We, al we also wanna teach her impulse control, okay? Now, here's a very simple trick that all the viewers at home can do. All we're gonna do is use two leashes, and as you can see, I have a collar on her and a harness. Now go ahead and back up to the edge of that, to the end of the leash and step on it. Okay, now, what we have right here is called the double leash lock off. Now this is called impulse control. I'm gonna put a, a pork Whoa. chop on the ground. As you can see, I can put the pork chop right in front of her and give her a no and pull her to the side. Now it's very simple right here. I'm using no force whatsoever. Right. And all I'm gonna do is simply say the word no and push to the side no. and pull her away. And then this, she understands. This is basic impulse control. Instead of you yanking her over and over, this is a very simple way you can do this at home. You can l actually lock the back off to the leg of a chair. And what's going on with Lucy? <laughs> Lucy insists on jumping on furniture that she is off, that's off limits to her. And oh. she won't. She won't get oh, down. Oh, there she is. Unless she's, this here, right here? Unless she's okay. physically oh. removed. Well, she's so cute. Why would you want her off the front? <laughs> oh, she's a couch. A new couch. You she's a, new a couch. couch puppy. Okay, now I'm going to show you a very simple way at home you can stop dogs from going on the furniture. I discovered this accidentally years ago. All we're going to take is simple aluminum foil, and we're going to simply put it across the couch. Now, you might ask, why does this work? The reason why is because dogs don't like very unorthodox things. The second her, paw, her paws hit this, it's gonna make that noise, and she gets off right away. Now, this works for when you're not home. Now, here's the secret, though. Every day we do this, it's gonna work a little better. We could start taking it away till eventually, probably about two, three weeks later, she won't wanna jump exactly, on the couch anymore. Exactly, because she learns that response. Conditioning. Right, right, right. Exactly. Now, here's the, here's the problem, though. Make sure your dog's not a chewer. If your dog is a chewer, I wouldn't recommend this because they can take it off and chew it. Zoe loves to chew shoes, sneakers, expensive She's a heels. chewer. Yes, and she is a chewer, yes. <laughs> oh, look, there she goes, look, look. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. And those could be expensive, couldn't they? Yes, yes they can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it makes for a great, cute video, but it's not so fun when you choose your shoes. No, right, and it is then not. you have to go and replace them. I'm going right. to show you a very simple trick that I learned a long time ago. So all we're going to do here is reverse psychology. When the dog chews a shoe, the dog wants it, right? Yeah. What we're going to do is we're simply going to tie the shoe to the collar, and we're going to... Oh, wow. And we're going to leave it there. Hold on. <laughs> now, you might ask, why does this work? It's very simple. So for the first 15 minutes, the dog loves a shoe. It's like, great, this is great, I get the shoe. 30 minutes later, the dog's like, okay, this is getting kind of boring now. Yeah. Can't get away from the shoe. <laughs> 45 minutes later, the dog never wants to look at a shoe again. It's simple reverse psychology, and trust me, I've, I've given this advice to people all over the world. It stops it in a week or two. All right. Amazing. Very simple. I hope so. All right. Bye, guys.